Debate Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Sarah Chevrolet, the low payment people. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Meyer, your destination for sporting goods and equipment. Clearvision.pro, the supplement athletes trust to maximize visual performance. Better vision, better results. And Snapcam, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come visit Telegraph Road's newest Dodge and Ram truck dealer, serving Detroit. From fantastic Ford Field, welcome once again, everybody, to the Michigan High School Football State Finals. The entire season has led to this. The best of the best, everything on the line. This is State Champs, presented by Lawrence Technological University. I'm Lauren Plant. We have got your post-Thanksgiving fix of highlights, so get ready. But we also have some pretty tasty side dishes, too. First, Sarah Chevrolet honors a special education teacher out of West Bloomfield. Then we go in focus on back-to-back -back champions in girls volleyball. And finally, Lawrence Tech University is making big news in the medical field. That's right. Our Meyer main event is the Division I championship between a couple of powerhouse teams. But let's begin with Friday afternoon's marquee matchup, the Division II State Finals. It's showtime right here, all right? Hard led us here. Let's, let's make it happen. Finish the job. Detroit King back in the state finals, and if they could win to honor the memory of former head coach Dale Harvell, it would be an incredible sweet repeat. Matched up against a Walled Lake Western team that haven't seen the final stage since they won it 17 years ago. The saying defense wins championships could use this game as the definition. First quarter, King driving. Sophomore quarterback Daquan Finn over the middle, picked off by our Mr. Football finalist and MSU bound Cody White. And we ended the first with no score. Looked like it'd stay that way into the locker room, but the Crusaders got on the board with 12 seconds left. Our second Mr. Football finalist in this game finding the end zone. Ambry Thomas beats White. King led six zip at the break. Western averaged nearly 43 points a game in the playoffs, but just couldn't solve the Crusaders' secondary. The senior Johnny Tracy's pass tipped at the line and into the hands of Jesse Scraber. Bye-bye. 56 yards to the house. King up 12. More playmaking from the Crusader defense. White under center, trying to get something out of nothing, but that's Javion Morton. And the last time we had two pick sixes in a state final, 2007, King's first ever state crown. The Crusaders honor the late Dale Harvell by blanking Walt Lake Western 18-0. Second straight Division II state championship. It feel good, but I'm, I'm, I'm like kind of sad right now because like I don't want to leave. Like I'll never get this experience back again, no matter where I go. Like I'll never get this type of brotherhood, no, where, no matter where I go. Next to Division Six, Jackson Lumen Christie back in the state finals for the first time in seven years. It's been 20 years since Maple City Glen Lake experienced this moment. One of the most successful teams in state history, Lumen Christie won five titles in 10 years before this almost decade-long drought in the championship game. Quick strike from Kyle Minder, Titans miss the PAT. So it stayed that way into the second. Minder, again, the man, Jackson Lumen Christie up 13-0. Glen Lake won two double D division titles in three years between 94 and 96, looking for some life. They found it in the duo of Cade Peterson and Nick Rice. The bomb, 57 yards to Paydirt, but the Titans Minder got his third, so it was a 13-point game at the half. This was all Lumen Christie, and the real workhorse of the game was Bo Bell, a season-high 40 carries, and this score, it was 26-7 Titans. 26-14 would be your final score. Jackson Lumen Christie back on top of the mountain, ninth state title in school history. Sarah Chevrolet is proud to recognize the hardworking people in the communities they serve with the Sarah Chevrolet Community Awards. November's Teacher of the Month Award was given to Jed Jones, a special education teacher at West Bloomfield High School. This is Jed's second year teaching at West Bloomfield and he's passionate about his career and students. As an educator, he believes students need to feel comfortable, safe, and engaged in their environment in order to learn. Jed is dedicated to working alongside parents, school personnel, and community to help prepare individuals for their future. Sarah Chevrolet is happy to acknowledge him as Teacher of the Month. On behalf of Sarah Chevrolet, I'd like to congratulate Jed Jones on being the Teacher of the Month. Congratulations. 
Thank you, Sarah Chevrolet, for making me Teacher of the Month. I'm Daniela Bruce and I'm here to tell you that we are just getting started with our state finals coverage here at Ford Field. But if you watch our show, you know that we cover all sports. Kiara Lancaster will give us an inside look at the recent dominance of Novi's volleyball team. All that and more when State Champs returns. I want to be a dermatologist, and though a lot of universities tried to recruit me for basketball, Lawrence Tech had the science curriculum that I wanted. LTU's Southfield campus is a great place to learn, and the classes are small enough that I don't have to wait for office hours to talk to my professors. They're usually right by my side, challenging me and guiding me toward a successful future. Lawrence Tech. Possible is everything. Same size. I mean, you must work out too, right? 275. Well, since Hungry Howie's Catering starts at just 275 per person, I asked my BFF pro football star Zick Yansa uh, if he would change his number. Is the league cool with this? Why would the league have a problem with Hungry Howie's Catering? No, 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 the number. Why would they want people to pay more? He is not smart. I have been saying that for years. All right, let's see if our arms are the same. They're not. Howie's Catering combos start at 275 per person. Now that's an idea. Hungry Howie's! As a professional quarterback, I know the credit for a winning season belongs to the entire team, including those behind the scenes. Your goals are just as important to the Holland Hospital sports medicine team. From Little League to your senior golf group, school soccer to your 5K best, it's good to know Holland Hospital specialized doctors, athletic trainers, and physical therapists work together to keep you healthy and in the game. Take advantage of your team, Holland Hospital sports medicine. Welcome back to State Champs. Coming up, we have highlights from Division 7 and Division 4 football finals. But first, we always think it's a huge deal when one of Michigan's high school teams brings second in the country. At least that's what Max Prep think of the girls' volleyball team in Novi. They have won 161 matches in the past three years, so we go in focus. After a high-intensity game last Saturday, the Wildcats at Novi High School are officially back-to-back -back Class A champions in girls volleyball. The championship game was, I, I think it was almost surprising for us. We had really been handling our opponents pretty easily up to that point. So we were in control pretty much the entire postseason. And Rockford was coming for us, you know, it's the state championship, anything can happen and I think that threw us off a little bit. It was a very close game, you know, trading points back and forth. The highest point was winning that third set and knowing that they were up 2-1, we just need to win one more. And then just, you know, watching Aubrey on our outside hitter put that ball away and then, you know, celebrate and, you know, smiles all across the board. I think the best moment was when we got the trophy and all of us kind of like ran to the floor and like fell on top of each other and it was just, so awesome. What's even more impressive than taking home the win is the way Novi's volleyball program has drastically changed. They went from never winning a title to being either runner-up or champions in the last three years. We wouldn't have had the success that we did without the chemistry that we have on our team. It's like I've never played on a team where everyone is just so close to each other and it's like completely drama free and we're just like family here. The Wildcats are losing some key players this year, but will still have some strong offensive players that are coming back in 2017 looking for a three-peat. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. In Focus is presented by ClearVision.pro, the supplements athletes trust to maximize visual performance. Better vision, better results. I'm Jerry Mack. Let's get back to our football state finals coverage. In Division 4, we had Grand Rapids Catholic Central taking on the Yellow Jackets from Detroit Country Day. Catholic Central going for its first state title in six years. We picked things up late in the opening quarter. The senior Antonio Strong on the punt return for the Cougars. He takes it 54 yards down all the way to the Country Day 6. That led to a field goal CC up 3-0 after the first. The Cougars driving in the second, but the Country Day defense makes a big play right here as Roy McCree picks off the Jack Bowen pass. He'll take it 82 yards to the house, and the Yellow Jackets win into the halves up 7-3. Jump to the late stages of the third. Country Day looking to increase on its lead. Steve Mann loses the handle, and the Cougars defense is there to recover the fumble. Going into the fourth, it was still a 7-3 ball game. 
GRCC would capitalize off that turnover as Bowen would connect to Michael Brown and the senior would go on in for the 44-yard touchdown. <laughs> Grand Rapids Catholic Central would hang on to win its first state title since 2010. 10-7 the final in this one. I feel like I finally accomplished something. My uh, high school career is done, but it's no other way to better, no better way to go out than like this. Next up, the Division 7 title. We had Paywama Westphalia in search of its first state title in school history, going up against Detroit Loyola, who is making its fourth finals appearance in its last five years. We start the action in this one in the third quarter with Paywama Westphalia leading 7 to nothing. Alec Lehman throws it up to the senior Logan Hangsbach, comes down with it for the 37-yard touchdown, and that put the Pirates up 14. PW would add another score with 34 seconds to go in the third. Senior quarterback Ryan Smith shakes off a tackle and scores from two yards out. And the Pirates were going into the final stanza up 21-0. But Loyola going for its second state title in three years wasn't giving up. Price Watkins lofts it up and the junior Keith Johnson hauls it in. This one for 18 yards, they get the two and now trail 21-8. But the Pirates would be too much in this one as Lehman sneaks it in for the one-yard touchdown. <laughs> as Puwamo Westphalia goes on to win its first football state title in school history, 28 to 14 the final. Time now for this week's look inside Lawrence Technological University. Big news on campus, Lawrence Tech is collaborating with St. John Providence to provide a nursing education program in the fall of 2017. This partnership is extremely important to students as the program will have classroom instruction at Lawrence Tech Southfield campus with clinical and laboratory instruction at six St. John Providence hospital locations around Metro Detroit. The benefit for the students is that they're going to be able to navigate that healthcare system a lot easier than going from a different healthcare system through each clinical rotation. LTU aims to create more qualified, well-trained nurses through their founding motto of theory and practice. I think one of the things that I always bring to the classroom, which is really important, is the real life situations. Because we can read about things in a book, but it, we need to be able to operationalize. For more information on the nursing education program, head over to LTU's academic website, ltu.edu slash academics. Football National Signing Day is right around the corner and our fourth annual State Champ Signing Day special will air Super Bowl weekend on January 29th. If you are willing to make your college commitment on our show, any university, large or small, send an email to our executive producer, Lauren Plant. His email is lplant at statechampsnetwork.com. Again, that's lplant at statechampsnetwork.com. We'll take a look at Ottawa Lake Whiteford football and get back to all the highlights when State Champs returns. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howie's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, but we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Everyone is posting selfies these days, but at Sarah Chevrolet in Southfield, we're using them to show our customers what makes us special, like our extended hours. We're open until 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday, so you can shop on your schedule. Plus, more money for your trade, up to a thousand more than Kelly Blue Book. Picture yourself in a new Equinox LS for just $89 a month, Cruise LT only $109, or a Silverado All-Star as low as $139 a month. Only at Sarah Chevrolet on Telegraph, north of 696 in Southfield. Does this one make me look fat? No. We were born here. We grew up here. Raised our kids here. Went to school here. We live here. We are the home team. game is on the line and you need to make a play, it is imperative that your body is working at its full capacity. You spent the time in the weight room, studied the playbook, but don't neglect your vision. 
ClearVision.pro was designed to improve visual tracking and field awareness, leading to better hand-eye and body-eye coordination. Improved reaction time leads to maximum physical performance. Get the HD advantage that'll put you on top of your game. Get ClearVision.pro. Welcome back to State Champs and welcome inside the woods. We are in Ottawa Lake, Whiteford High School. Now the Bobcats have had a long history, but never have they made a state championship. That is until now, they've beaten the odds. If you happen to be just a few miles north of the state line this week and saw some kids in a tranquil setting practicing football, well, you'd be at Ottawa Lake Whiteford for the first time in school history, getting ready for a football game the week of Thanksgiving. This journey began five years ago when Jason Mensing took over as head coach. They were coming off a four and five season. There wasn't much interest in football. So our first goal was just to let's have fun playing football and let's get kids energized about the sport and, and understand how that can affect their lives. What were once the mighty 17, Whiteford now has over 50 kids on the roster and they're having a lot of fun. Regional champs for the first time a year ago, now heading to Ford Field after taking care of Saginaw Michigan Lutheran Seminary in the semis. The entire community backing their Bobcats like nobody's business. We've had kids come in from bigger schools saying, you know, that they love it here because everyone's just so close, you know, everyone knows everyone and and uh, the community is just so close, you know, and it's, it's just great having the support that we do in this long playoff run that we've had. So I'm thankful for, for all of our community and, and everyone in the school too. Let's check the highlights. Let's go! Here we go, the underdogs, Ottawa Lake Whiteford going for that first ever football state championship. And up against the machine, Muskegon Catholic Central. This would be a four-peat if they could pull off another D8 title. Pick things up in a scoreless second quarter. The senior Logan Helton capping off an eight play, 85 yard drive. One of two touchdowns on the day for Helton. Whiteford came in with a tough offense to stop. In fact, Bobcats racked up 350 yards against the Crusader defense. The junior Thomas Eitner racks up 81 on this play alone, his 27th of the season. They went for two and didn't get it, but the Crusader offense on fire in the second half. Freshman QB Cameron Martinez finished the day with 154 yards rushing on 18 carries. Crusaders up 21 to six after three. Martinez was also four for nine passing and this counts. Let Tommy he's got this senior the 25 yard touchdown muskegon catholic central becomes just the fifth school in state history to win four state championships in a row 35 to 6 the final going to the state championship and losing isn't a part of what our school is um, you'll be forgotten but since we've won we've left a legacy division five the grand rapids west catholic falcons who won the state championship the last three years in a row taking on the Menominee Maroons. Both of these schools entering Ford Field with 12 and two records on the year. We start things off in the first quarter. Falcons up three nothing already and Gaetano Vallone throws a laser to Brett Myers who is able to turn on the afterburners to go 91 yards to the end zone. West Catholic led 16 nothing after the opening quarter. Second quarter action now as Vallone once again showing off his arm throws a bomb to Sam Neville and he gets away for a second touchdown of the game this one from 61 yards out, and that further extends the Falcons' lead to 23-0. Vallone still not done before halftime. This time he quickly gets it out to Aaron Hall, who shows some great footwork heading down the sidelines for 26 yards, as Grand Rapids West Catholic now the sixth school to ever win four straight championships. They go on to win 43-7. <laughs> on to Division Three. Orchard Lake St. Mary's looking to win its third straight title going up against Muskegon. This rematch of the 2014 state final. We picked this one up in the first quarter. Muskegon driving and it's our Mr. Football finalist Khalil Pimpleton up the middle for the 18 yard touchdown and the Big Reds up 7-3 after the first quarter. Score now 14-6 with 35 seconds to go in the first half. St. Mary's would get a score as junior quarterback Caden Prescorn throws it up and Clay Antishan makes the nice diving 29 yard touchdown grab. The Eaglets were down 14-13 going into the half. Jump now to the fourth quarter with Muskegon trailing 20-14. It's the Virginia Tech bound Pimpleton on the end of round. He scores from 18 yards and the Big Reds take the one point lead 21-20. Back comes OLSM. 
on the foot of the junior place kicker Ben Fee with the longest kick in state championship history. This one from 49 yards out to put the Eaglets back up 23 to 21. But Muskegon would march down the field and Ladarius Jefferson punches it in from three yards out. That puts the Big Reds back up 28 to 23. Now, with 10 seconds to go, St. Mary's needs a touchdown and it would be Prescorn hooking up with Kyron Cunningham for the 18 yard touchdown. They would hang on to win 29-28 and capture its third straight Division III state championship. feel amazing just to have the 3 P go down in history as the first team in our school to ever do this. A lot of people doubted us. We were against a great team. Muskegon played us very hard. They came out, they played with their hearts out. We had to play with our hearts out too. It's been another incredible state championship Thanksgiving weekend and we've got room for one more serving on our plate. It's the Division I state final between undefeated Detroit Catholic Central and undefeated Detroit Cass Tech. It's our Meyer main event and it's coming up next. I want to blend my business education and athletic skills and open my own fitness center. At Lawrence Tech, I'm learning how to research, present, and to really think like an entrepreneur. And I love the small college feel here, where there's always something to do. We have men's and women's intercollegiate sports and dozens of student organizations. I can't wait to apply what I'm learning here in the real world. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. When the game is on the line and you need to make a play, it is imperative that your body is working at its full capacity. You spent the time in the weight room, studied the playbook, but don't neglect your vision. ClearVision.pro was designed to improve visual tracking and field awareness, leading to better hand-eye and body-eye coordination. Improved reaction time leads to maximum physical performance. Get the HD advantage that'll put you on top of your game. Get ClearVision.pro. SnapCamp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer, and we're still making the best deals every day. During the Black Friday event, lease a Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo for just $2.59 a month for 24 months, or a Ram Crew Cab 4x4 now as low as $178. Sales service and a superior buying experience. That's SnapCamp on Telegraph Road in Redford. SnapCamp, Metro Detroit's original. SnapCamp, SnapCamp. Welcome back to State Champs, and we got one more game to cook up for you this Thanksgiving weekend. Our Meyer main event, the Division I State Championship. You know, Cass Tech has been our heavyweight champ since day one of the 2016 season. Detroit Catholic Central became the top contender in week three of the season. So, like a big bout, who's going to have the best one-two punch? Who will be the last team standing? Ring the bell. This, the third time that Detroit Catholic Central and Cass Tech have squared off in the Division I finale. The technicians won the previous two meetings, last in 2012. Led by a talented group of seniors, this Cass Tech concoction had fallen short over the past three years for a state title to call their own. First quarter, the Northern Illinois commit Rodney Hall dumps it off to Tiana Allen, benefits from a good block, and the junior does the rest. 33-yard touchdown, Cass Tech struck first. Now Catholic Central with several guys who had family on the last Shamrock Championship, 2009. Just before the end of the quarter with the game tied, Jack Morris, the pick six, 35 yard touchdown. Shamrock's up 14 to seven after one. Rodney Hall missed last year's state finals loss to Romeo due to injury. He's been extremely productive this season and all playoffs long. Early second quarter and all day in the pocket, finds Allen again, we were knotted at 14 apiece. The Detroit PSL champs cast Tech with the Rock again a few minutes later, and they showed off what kind of speed they possess. The 1,000-yard senior Donovan Johnson breaks to the outside, and he will win this sideline sprint 60 yards to the house. He had two scores on the game, and the technicians led 21-14 at halftime. It would be all CT the rest of the way, needing a running clock in the fourth. 14 seconds into the second half, Hall slam pass to Donovan Parker, 42-yard touchdown. 
Hall threw for 220 yards and tied a state record with five touchdowns. And our Mr. Football finalist, Donovan Peoples-Jones, made some incredible plays, including this 49-yard TD reception, six catches, 118 yards, and two TDs for Peoples-Jones in his final high school game. Coach Thomas Wilcher trying to outrun what will become his on-field shower. Cass Tech wins their third state title in school history. They take down Detroit Catholic Central 49-20. First undefeated season in school history. So our Meyer MVP, and this was a hard one, several of the technicians could qualify as MVP of this game. We chose Donovan Peoples-Jones. Donovan, uh, senior year, state championship, what does this mean? It means everything. Last year coming out here and losing, uh, most of the team, all of the team was heartbroken. Um, you know, and our coaches made that emphasis that you never want to make this feeling again. Um, never want to lose a state championship again. And to come out here, um, you know, from our summer workouts, from our fall workouts, from our scrimmages, from all the games that led up to this game, I think we grew a lot as a team. Um, and I'm just so proud of how my team fought and how our coaches uh, dedicated themselves to this program. So you just heard from Donovan Peoples-Jones. This was the unique weekend, first time in our history that all of our Hungry Howie's Mr. Football Final Four candidates were playing in the state finals. Your quick thoughts on this weekend well, and what Donovan they did. Peoples-Jones did a lot for his case to be the number one player. It's not a done deal yet, but he had a great game. But I also thought Khalil Pimpleton out of Muskegon had a great game. Ambry Thomas, his team wins the state championship. He wins. Cody White had a great season. I still think it's up for grabs, but you got to look at the winners, and that, in my mind, weighs heavy on my decisions. Well, there you go. We're going to make our decision this week. You will know who our Mr. Football champion is in our final show next Sunday on Fox Sports Detroit at 9 a.m. All right, guys, thank you so much. This has been an amazing finals. We'll see you next week right here on State Champs. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Sarah Chevrolet, the low payment people. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Meyer, your destination for sporting goods and equipment. Clearvision.pro, the supplement athletes trust to maximize visual performance. Better vision, better results. And Snethcam, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come visit Telegraph Road's newest Dodge and Ram truck dealer, serving Detroit.